tonight, price. The floods push up the cost of fruit and veggies. And we're probably seeing around about a 15 inch price increase. Going under. More houses flooded after a breach in the levee banks. And tough obituary. A former cop gives his verdict on notorious escapee Peter Gibbs. This is the 10 Evening News with Mal Walden. Good evening and welcome to this first edition of 10 Evening News. And first tonight, after big rises in electricity and gas prices, long-suffering Victorians are now struggling with sharp increases in fruit and veggies. The floods have pushed up the cost of produce as much as 20% in just a week. And as Australians prepare for more hip pocket pain, the Prime Minister is defending the need for tough financial action in the wake of the flood. Meanwhile, more houses have been flooded in northern Victoria as a huge inland sea descends on Swan Hill. Now to other news, and a backyard beating may have led to the death of notorious criminal and prison escapee Peter Gibb. The armed robber died in hospital, but a former cop says few will mourn his passing. Grand Prix Supremo Ron Walker has been locked in talks with Premier Ted Bailey this afternoon amid new doubts over the future of the race in Melbourne. A Black Saturday survivor has lost everything again. Not to bushfires this time, but to callous thieves. They stole the caravan he'd called home for the past two years and his precious few remaining possessions. And still to come, Melbourne's home ownership dream fades and flooding takes a bite out of Queensland's road network. And Melbourne has ranked fourth in a list of the world's most unaffordable housing markets. The only relief for buyers is the prediction that prices will flatten this year. The federal opposition says it will support recommendations made by an inquiry into December's Christmas Island boat tragedy when at least 30 people drowned. One of the main results will be an improvement in radar surveillance to help detect asylum boats in bad weather. Lara Giddings, the youngest woman ever elected to the Australian Parliament, is now the youngest female Premier. Melbourne underworld figure Mick Gatto is back behind the wheel after his drink driving conviction was overturned. As the nation debates how to pay for the flood damage, the full extent of Queensland's devastation is only now becoming clear. And record floods are also troubling the people of Germany. Now, sport is next. After his break, welcome back, Stephen. Thanks, Mel. Good to be back. Australia's stand-in skipper Michael Clark again under fire. And is it career over for victory's captain after his demolition derby tackle? Well, number one, Rafael Nadal is about to step onto Rod Laver Arena, hoping to set up a quarter-final match with fellow Spaniard David Ferrer. Melbourne Victory captain Kevin Muscat's career could be over, with the veteran facing a minimum five-match suspension after his reckless tackle charge was referred directly to the A-League's disciplinary committee. The hero of Australia's quarter-final win, Harry Kuehl, has admitted if the Socceroos don't win the Asian Cup, it'll go down as a wasted opportunity. Already under pressure for his batting slump, Australia's stand-in skipper Michael Clark has been further criticised for helping a teammate improve his social life. The Demons will announce their new captain in the next fortnight, with Brad Green favourite to take the job. Thanks, Stephen. Next in 10 News, Mike Larkin's weather. But first, let's see what's ahead in the 7pm project. Welcome back. And John Travolta and his wife Kelly Preston have sent a message of solidarity to flood victims here in Australia. That's right, Mal, and a very good evening. We'll... Thank you, Mike. And that is our first 10 evening news. Thanks for joining us. Stay with us now for the 7pm project. Take care. Good night. <laughs>